chucks, we call them aerials, which is basically a throw. When you throw a chuck, one of the most important things is, uh, when you first start, is to not give it a whole lot of rotation. So anytime we start working on throws, don't, don't grab it and just slam it, because you're going to have a hard time catching up with all those rotations. So when you first start out, you're going to want to do very slow rotations like that. And I'll show you how to do that later. Just keep in mind to keep it really nice and slow so you can spot it and catch it where you need to catch. Uh, the next part of it is to also be able to spot and to see what you want to do, basically, to have the most time in catching a throw. It's going to be a lot easier if you actually grab in front of it. Kind of like when you think of shooting an arrow or, or throwing a rock at something that's moving. You don't throw it exactly where it's at, or you, you'll miss it because it's, it's continually moving. So at the same time, you're going to plan ahead. Whoosh, bam. This is the perfect spot. You have that much space. As opposed to waiting for it to get here, you have, you may miss it. See what I'm saying? So 180 degrees, boom, like that. Rip. You guys remember rips. This is in the Chaku Basics version 1, so if you don't know your rips, just watch the first video. Here's what's going to happen. The hand that's ripping, let's say it's my left hand right now, that's ripping over the right, as soon as my left hand grabs it, we're going to lift it up and it's almost like these two fingers are holding it and we're going to launch it right there. Here's, what, here's where it's going to launch. As soon as the other nunchuck is about 9 o'clock, what I'm going to do is my hand is going to flick and open. So in slow motion, rip, okay, this is coming across. My hand comes over here, flick and open like that. We're just giving it a little bit of a nudge. You remember when I was talking about a belt and you whip a belt? It's kind of the same thing here. The, uh, the flick and opening is kind of just like that snap of the belt. So it's very loose and then all at once, as soon as it comes to about nine o'clock, my hand's gonna flick it and open it. It's a very subtle flick. It's just pushing this a little bit faster than its rotation, but not by much. So that's step one, is to be able to launch it, okay? And again, the other side is at 9 o'clock when I do it. So it's here, flick, and open. If you want to practice the flick, you can just hold the chuck like this and just practice going like that. It's going to feel awkward and a little bit strange, but you should feel it kind of dive down like that. The only reason why it's diving down is because I'm holding the momentum on the other end, so... Okay? Now, if I'm not holding the momentum, it's going to launch it up in the air like that. The second part is going to be, uh, especially as you're first starting, as you flick it, lift your hand up. Lift it straight up. I just hit the ceiling. <laughs> okay. So lift your hand up. The reason why if you lift your hand up, it'll slow the rotation down. If I don't lift my hand up, there'll be more rotation, so it'll be harder to catch. So right now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do the, I'm gonna do the rib, and then my hand's gonna launch up as I open my hand. Later on, you don't have to. You'll just be able to do it straight through. But right now, we're going to lift our hand up. I'm going to keep hitting the ceiling, my god. <laughs> okay, so we're going to lift it up, catch, bam. Okay, the catch is the next part, okay? So we throw the nunchuck in the air. It's going, it's going. My right hand comes up, and as this hits around mm, probably about 2 o'clock or so, my hand's coming down to meet it, and it's grabbing. I'm actually grabbing it faster than the rotation of the, of the spin. So your hand has to move faster than rotation, obviously, or you might, you might like get caught up and hit the back of your hand in the, in the nunchuck. So don't spin it too fast, because you may not be able to grab it. So it's moving, and snatch, like that. So if I'm doing the nunchuck, we do the rip, pull, grab. Rip, pull, grab. In slow motion, as it's going, my hand's chasing it, it's grabbing it, and then the downward pull keeps it in motion, straight through. So. If you don't have to do a rip to make, this, to make this work. You can even just do it with your right hand going counterclockwise. And as soon as it's at about 6 o'clock, you lift up and open your hand. You can practice both ways. Rip, lift, grab. Or counterclockwise, as soon as it's about 9 o'clock, lift, open, and grab. When I say by lift and open, it's basically 9 o'clock. Once I hit 9 o'clock, I lift up, but then my hand opens up. It's almost like a very subtle jerk. Every time I grab it, do you notice how my hand, let's say I grab it here, I don't stop here, I actually pull it down, and as I pull it down, uh, that circular motion is going to put the other one in, it's going to put it right into the spin. So it's spinning around, like so. 
I grab it, and as I pull it down, it's going to take all that slack off the chain, and it's going to be a very tight rotation again.